Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey, and this is a quick tip for testing if the mouse is over the UI. So for example, in the scene here, I have my unit over here, moving around to where I click as if it was an RTS, and over here I have a UI window. Now obviously I don't want to give the unit the order to move when I'm interacting with the UI, so when I click a button, I don't want the unit to move in here. So let's check out the code. So in my game handler script here, I have something very simple. I have a reference to my unit and I have a function to set it to move to a target position. And on update, we are simply testing if the left mouse button is down, we are giving the unit the mouse warm position so it moves towards the mouse. Great. Okay, let's start by making a function to return if the mouse is over the UI. So private ball is mouse over UI. Now in here, we're going to use the event system. So up here, make sure you are using unity engine dot event system. So the event system contains a function testing if the mouse pointer is over a game object. It's in event system dot current dot is pointer over game object. And in here on our input, we're going to test if the mouse button is down and it is not over the UI. Let's test it. And there you go, very simple implementation. I can click around here and my unit is moving. I can interact with the UI and the unit does not move. Now let's add some more functionality. Say I do want to click through some things in the UI like this transparent element around here. I still want the mouse to be blocked when I interact with this UI element, but I want the clicks to go through with this element. So let's make a function that will do a raycast on the mouse position and check each element that it hits, whether it should be ignored or not. So let's go into the code and create a new private ball. Call it is mouse over UI with ignores. So this will test for ignores before returning the result. So in order to test, we're going to create a pointer event data, which we're going to construct with the event system dot current. On our pointer event data dot position, we're going to give it the input dot mouse position. Let's create a list of raycast result, raycast result list. And we're going to go into the event system dot current dot raycast all. We're going to raycast using the pointer event data and we're going to put the results in the raycast results list. So we're going to cycle through the results list. So inch dot count i plus plus. And now in here we have to identify which elements should be ignored and remove them from the list. Now, in order to identify which elements should be ignored, you have several options. You can test the name, the tag, the layer, or my favorite way, just add a dummy component. So we're going to go into our game and create a new C Sharp script and just call it mouse UI click through. Inside, just remove everything and leave this just an empty class. So in here, we're going to go through all the Raycast results and test if they contain the component mouse UI click through. So if Raycast result list i dot game object dot get component of type mouse UI click through, if it is not null, so if we have this component, we're going to remove it from the list. So remove at i and reduce the i. And down here, in order to test if the mouse is over the UI after the ignores, we're simply going to return if our raycast result list dot count if it is bigger than zero. And up here, instead of using his mouse over UI, just use it with the ignores. And there you go. Right now, this should do a raycast on the mouse position, go through all the raycasts that it hit, remove the ones that we want to click through, and in the end, return if we still have elements on the list. So in here, go to the element that you want to click through and just add our dummy component and hit play. Right now we can move normally. We cannot move through this UI element, but we can click through this UI element. And there you go. 
it works correctly you can block clicks where you want and let them through where you want okay hope that helps if you have any questions post them in the comments and i'll do my best to answer them all right see you next time